Let's beat this bitch. Snake. The greatest video game car. Of all time. The greatest male booty of all video game characters. I've been plagued today with nose runs and bathroom runs and all sorts of runs. <laughs> Not that bad. Ooh, take this. But from here on out, eh, we're going down. Wait. Liquid's going down. We're not going down. We're going to win. Yeah. Got to work on my smack talk. <laughs> right, we got this. It's all good. Indie Bob likes my, my, uh, YouTube tube icon or some shit. If you look real close, it's completely off. But, uh, I've been thinking about asking a, a much better artist than me to uh, recreate it. Maybe give it a uh, Metal Gear Codec Green um, hue. I think that'd be pretty cool. Please drop a herb or whatever it's called. I've been playing way too much Metal Gear. No. Oh. A, a handgun bullet. I'm saying handgun for now on because people will laugh at me. Apparently. Yeah. There we go. Woo! Frame rate. I did, I did pause it, right? It's not going to be undone. God. <laughs> that would have been a bitch. What? No. Why? Ready for launch. I deactivated it. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Master. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key. And even activated the warhead for us, too. Damn. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of Welcome. the weapon, hey, man. the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. Cat. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who 
is it? Snake, you've been talking to me, dear brother. <laughs> Pooled. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Here we go again. Does anybody want to help me get out of this? This time around, I think I have to call Otacon. Uh, was his name Foreskin Steam that just followed? Thanks a lot, Snake, man. That's bulletproof glass. Love the name. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Thank you very much. Almost 350 followers. Three of you I like. Snake, Emmerich will be able to open the door. Just trust him and hang on. Oh, all right. Let's exercise <laughs> while we're waiting. Practice our teabagging skill for when we kick the shit out of liquid. Can't believe it. They killed off Kaz just like that. Off camera. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Fodor. Right, we got this. Oh, my, my, give me a second. We almost got this. Woo. Actually, you can uh, look out the window there and see him when you when can, can I can I not do it? Oh, he's on the map. He's actually on the radar. Look at him right there, that little bitch head. Look at him, look at him. hey dude. How you doing? Just wait for me. I wish the window was open and I could like slip out a grenade. Brother. Love liquid. Where you at now? That was cool. He actually ran there. Liquid snake. Did you like my sunglasses? Ray Ban. You point a weapon at your own brother. Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was. But it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. Huh. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation. But no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. 
You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! <laughs> Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. Woo! Look how badass this shit is. Oh, big fight, big fight, big fight. The coolest robot next to Optimus Prime. Metal Gear Rex. Look how good this design is, dude. We got this. Don't worry. Penis laser. Let's see, do I remember the strategy? Just get the hell out of here. Oh. Maybe I'll use the body armor. Did he see me? Did he see me? Oh, he saw me. <laughs> nice. We got this. Just focus. Focus on victory. You throw the chaffs because uh, otherwise the, um, the, the missiles will be able to lock onto you. Didn't get him. Dude, you want to turn this way, asshole? Ooh, we didn't make the phone call. Sorry. This is a lore run. We're talking about the story. We got to get all the fucking talks in, you know? We need everyone to tell us things. God help us. Metal Gear is moving. Yeah. Snake, it's all riding on you now. You've got to stop that thing. But how? You'll have to ask Dr. Emmerich, the guy who made it. All right. Now we find out how to do it. Lore run. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow... Welcome! Sensors, Thanks so much, anal ass gape. Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a ray dome. Thank you. you. destroy that thing, it won't be able to I use think. its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. 
Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a Stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Damn, this guy's gonna get fired. Ooh, let's save it. I just wanna, I just wanna hear Mei Ling talk. I like her. Snake, there's nothing I can do to help you. All I can do is cheer you on. All right. When did we last save it on a snowfield? Damn, we definitely need to save it. That was a while back. If the power goes out... Do it for me, Snake. I'll do anything to make you smile, Naomi. What, wait, what's your name? Damn, she's gonna be angry at me. No! Brother! Do it! Blow up! Sit still! What? Move! Right, kicking his ass. Man, this armor is so ugly. It's why I didn't wear it. Did I throw that? Did I throw that? Did I not throw it? I didn't throw it. All right, I'm throwing it now. 14. Fuck, dude. Take your time. Run. You motherfucker. I'm rusty. Man, look how cool this image looks. Look at look at that image. That looks so cool. Oh, that looks so badass. Thirteen. Go close to dodge. All right, didn't work. <laughs> if you go in close, I don't think he uses missiles anymore. Well, not those ones. Laser. Laser dick. Thanks, man. Oh, that's so scrubby. Don't stand on me, bitch. Ugh. Don't fuck with Solid Snake. Badass. Rex is so badass. Paint job. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I am a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi! You're the only one who could stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. See the dead eyes? From the outside, we might have seemed like a happy brother and sister. But every time I looked at her, I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are. We're just a 
about our time. Here's a final present from Deep Road. I'll stop it from moving. Fuck! Damn, dude. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Fuck, man. Now, no good. I can't do it. You, I can finally die. After Zanzibar, I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon. No, I can't do it. Finally. Bye, dude. Fucking Gray Fox, man. Not right. Some bullshit right there. Is this stun grenade they use right now? Can't believe they kill off Grey Fox, but we had to play as that bitch in Metal Gear Rising. I think you can go under his legs back and forth and he can't see you. Oh, you want to heal? If you die, you def you have to fight both both forms again. Oh, you bitch! Wait, 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 wait! Cannon run! We need it. We need to get the lore. We need to get the lore. Colonel, Fox is dead. I know. God rest his soul. Even a soldier needs more to live for than just fighting. Maybe if he'd found something else, he wouldn't have been so haunted. He was too simple, too pure. There was nothing in this world for him to believe in, so he chose to believe only in himself. I guess you're right. A man like Fox is really only looking for his death. Yeah, but if you ask me, there's no happiness to be gained in death. No peace either. I'm gonna leave here alive. Good. I want that too. You got this snake. Uh, man, you're all dead. <laughs> I saw it in President Baker's top secret files. Rex has a free electron laser mounted on its belly. Belly. It's a laser weapon that discharges a laser beam into an electron beam that's been accelerated using giant magnets. It can generate an incredible amount of energy, pretty close to 100 megawatts. That's 10 times greater than any other laser out there. All right, let's keep kicking ass. Let 
Man, I used to be better at this. Slightly better. My bad, God's neck. He got my ass twice. All right, we got this. Focus. Now I'm not gonna wear this just in case uh, it shows its ugly face in a cutscene. Laser, laser. Ugh! Melia Rex defeated. All right. I don't always beat him in one turn. I'll crush you into dust. <laughs> Damn. See how he just walks over to me, strutting his stuff? Pecks out, nips erect. 